what's good basketball heads? It's your boy Crush. So here you go Kendrick Perkins once again talking about LeBron should get a statue. A statue for what? What have LeBron done in LA that warrants him getting a statue? He won a bubble championship. He broke the all-time scoring record. I can see Kobe getting statues. He's played there 20 years. He brought them five championships. I could see Magic getting a statue. That's understandable. But LeBron deserve a statue? But here goes Kendrick Perkins talking about LeBron James should get a statue. For doing what? The man won a bubble championship. Even if you want to say it's a championship, whatever. So one championship in five years, almost six seasons, one championship. That deserve a statue? So now that's the standards? So we're going to lower the bar, lower the standards. So all you got to do is win one championship. And that automatically means you deserve a statue. That sounds crazy. But this is Kendrick Perkins once again, one of LeBron minions, one of his loyalists, trying to, you know, stir things up, talking about he deserve a statue. No, he don't. Dirk and Dallas deserve a statue. He played here 20 plus years. He brought them their only championship. That man been loyal to that franchise. He deserve a statue. If you want to say LeBron deserve a statue in Cleveland, okay, cool. But outside of Cleveland, no, he don't deserve a statue. He haven't done enough. He haven't played there long enough. And beyond playing, he haven't won enough in LA. If you want to get a statue, if LeBron won three championships, I would say, okay, that is statue worthy. No argument. You don't get a statue for one championship. Like, what are we doing? But here go Kendrick Perkins, as always, trying to stir the pot, putting it all out there in the air that LeBron deserve a statue for doing what? What have LeBron done exactly in LA that deserve a statue? We are talking about the Los Angeles Lakers. They're all about championships, winning, and there is a standard. The Lakers have a standard. And if you don't bring at least three championships, you don't get a statue. You don't get a statue for a bubble championship. I don't care if that's LeBron James. You didn't play in L.A. long enough. You didn't win enough. You're not that accomplished in L.A. Not even close for you to get a statue. If LeBron was to get a statue in L.A., that would mean that Kobe's statue, Magic, Shaq, Kareem's, it wouldn't really mean much. So because LeBron broke 40,000 points, that means he deserves a statue. What does 40,000 points have to do with a statue? That's a personal accolade. That has nothing to do with the Lakers. That's a personal achievement. But somehow Kendrick feels like because he broke 40,000 points, they should reward this man with a statue. That don't even make sense. So this is what Kendrick Perkins had to say. Get ready to start scoping the statue for LeBron James outside Crypto Arena. You know, after 40,000 points done in the Lakers uniform, surpassing Kareem in all-time scoring points, and winning the bubble chip, what more can he do? What else can he do? So that's what Kendrick Perkins had to say. Surpassing Kareem, that's an individual accomplishment. That's an individual accolade. Breaking 40,000 points. That's an individual accolade. He brought a bubble chip to L.A. LeBron don't deserve a statue because of one championship. It's unfortunate, but he haven't won enough. The key word is winning. LeBron have not won enough. If you give LeBron a statue as a Laker, that would undermine Kobe Bryant's greatness. That would undermine Magic's greatness. Think about that. That don't even add up. But for some reason, dudes be trying to, you know, prop LeBron James up. He deserved this. He should get that. If you want to say he should get a statue in Cleveland, Ohio, wherever. Okay, cool. Great. If you even want to go the route of saying he should get a statue in Miami, whatever. I don't think two championship warrants a statue, but if you even want to go that route, okay, cool, whatever. But as a Laker? LeBron have not won enough. It's unfortunate, but he haven't won enough. So I don't know what statue Kendrick Perkins is talking about. 
And if he got a statue in L.A., that would lower the bar, lower the standards. So now everybody would want a statue. I mean, you can cram LeBron James' accomplishment from other teams, other franchises with the Lakers. It's two totally different things. And I'm not saying LeBron don't deserve a statue or he shouldn't get a statue. I'm just saying not as a Laker. Because if you give this man a statue for winning a bubble chip, one championship, that would lower the bar, lower the standards, and it would have a negative impact on the future for future greats. Like, just come to LA, win one championship, and you get a statue. So I disagree with Kendrick Perkins. LeBron haven't done enough in LA. If they want to give him a statue in Miami, Cleveland, whatever, do you? Cool. But in LA, no, he don't deserve a statue. Not when other greats have five and six championships. It just don't add up. You can't give somebody a statue for one championship when other greats have multiple championships. That don't make any sense. So I don't know what Kendrick Perkins is talking about, you know, what he's trying to get at, but it just, it don't make any sense. And all the LeBron media, they're always trying to hand him stuff. You know, he should get this. He should get that. And I'm not trying to hate on the man's greatness. He's doing great things. I'm not trying to hate on him. I'm just saying a statue in LA is a bit much. That's really pushing it. Any other franchise, Miami, Cleveland, you wouldn't get too much pushback from me, especially Cleveland. But we're talking about Magic Johnson, Kobe Bryant's house. You don't get a statue in this house, not for one championship, not for the standard that was set by Kobe and Magic. Hell nah. Kareem got a statue. Kobe got a statue. Magic got a statue. Shaq got a statue. Rightfully so. They have all won multiple championships for that franchise. So that's sensible. All these players play for the Lakers for a long time, for multiple years. And on top of that, they have won multiple championships. Kareem and Magic brought five. Kobe brought five. Shaq brought three. That's a big difference. That is a huge difference. So you could understand when they get a statue. It makes sense. But LeBron getting a statue as a Laker, it wouldn't make sense. It would be out of place. It just wouldn't make sense. And it would lower the entire standard. It would lower the bar. Saying, okay, so all you got to do is come to L.A., win one championship, have a lot of accolades, and you get a statue. And you don't want that. That is not the impression you want to leave for future greats. If he happens to get one, whatever, great. If anything, the man have lost more than he won in L.A. After the bubble championship, they missed the playoff a few times. They were in the playing games. So he have lost more than he won in L.A. That is not statue worthy, at least to me. But that's just me. And I know Jeannie Buss, the Lakers organization, they have a standard. And I don't think they will lower the standard to appease LeBron. I doubt it. I could be wrong. But I doubt it. So let me know what y'all think, man. Let me know what your thoughts are on this whole situation. Should Genie Bus give LeBron a statue outside of the crypto arena? Leave your thoughts below, man. But as always, I'll holla. As always, we just talking basketball. Hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share. Holla at your boy. It's all about the game and how you play it. It's all about the game. I'ma say it. It's all about the game.